If you love dinosaurs, if you'd like to learn about them, if you'd like to see them scientifically accurate and beautifully rendered in a wildlife park setting, then Prehistoric Kingdom is the game you've been waiting for. But given that this is a game review, I have a bit of a confession to make. I am not what you would call a gamer. I'm a paleontologist. My name is Danny Anduza, and I work on dinosaurs. I discover them, I excavate them, I study them, illustrate them, publish on them, and nowadays I talk about them every weekday on Twitch as a means of science outreach. Lately, my viewers have been very excited about this new game, and the little independent studio that's been working on it sent me an advanced copy. Prehistoric Kingdom follows the same basic premise as other dinosaur park tycoon games. You build enclosures, guest amenities, you add new creatures, you know the drill. I'm not really qualified to talk about the intricacies of game mechanics. I don't know a lot about stuff like that. What I can talk to you about is the game's depiction of dinosaurs. Now, paleontologists are just starting to really examine the impact that video games have on the public's understanding of our science. I see it every day when viewers on Twitch ask me questions pertaining to dinosaur games. For many of them, video games are their primary interaction with dinosaur science. For better or for worse, these games have a big impact. Now, from what I've seen so far, Prehistoric Kingdom seems like it's going to have a very positive impact. In fact, I think it could be a wonderful tool for paleontology education. Now, it's by no means perfect. I'm sure there are bugs. I got an extra early pre-release copy, so bugs are to be expected. But it's the heart and soul of Prehistoric Kingdom that I'm really impressed with. Now, it's appropriate that the sauropod and the logo gets a little crown, because the dinosaurs really are the stars of this game. Prehistoric Kingdom has a real overarching affection for the critters that you just don't see in many other dinosaur games. The designs are excellent, drawing upon some of the latest science and paleo art, and each individual dinosaur is slightly unique in its coloration, just like real animals. You can actually tell different individuals of the same species apart from one another, based on that coloration. That's pretty cool. Now, a lot of people will compare Prehistoric Kingdom to Jurassic World Evolution, and they are very similar in concept. But there are subtle differences which jump out to somebody like me. Now, here's an example. In both games, you need a way to generate electricity to run your park. In Jurassic World Evolution, this is done through old-fashioned generators. You heard that right. In a futuristic park featuring resurrected dinosaurs created through extraordinary genetic technology, the sky is the limit and you're burning fossil fuels to generate electricity like it's 1950. Sure, it's a detail, but kind of says a lot. But in Prehistoric Kingdom, power generation is through wind and solar. Not only is that more thoughtful, it's also better gameplay. Because you're not restocking the stupid generators with gasoline every five minutes. It's not fun, that's work. Another plus is that Prehistoric Kingdom actually makes a distinction between dinosaurs and non-dinosaurs. Which is something that Jurassic World Evolution 2 doesn't really seem to care about. Again, it might seem like a little thing, but it says a lot. Especially to players who are interested in paleontology. And honestly, a big name studio like that should have done better. To me, the biggest difference between the two games is in the animals themselves. The quality of Jurassic World Evolution's creatures is... uneven. Some are beautifully rendered and pretty true to life. Some of them are of dubious quality. Some of them are just outright fictional monsters. The problem lies with the source material, the IP. There are talented artists and developers working on games like Jurassic World Evolution, but they're hamstrung by the intellectual property that they were hired to work with. The dinosaurs need to look like dinosaurs you see in the films. They're not scientifically accurate in their representation based on what our science, like real world scientists would do, but they need to look like universal dinosaurs. When a film franchise goes off the rails, not just with lousy, inaccurate dinosaur depictions, 
but by outright inventing fictional dinosaur monsters, they start missing the point about what makes dinosaurs special. In a crowded media landscape with a million zillion things to entertain yourself with, dinosaurs are still appealing because of their authenticity. Dinosaurs are real. The team behind Prehistoric Kingdom seems to realize that. It's front and center in their advertising. Show the world that these aren't monsters. Show the world what they truly are, and they'll come running. You don't have to monsterfy your dinosaurs just to make them compelling to a general audience. Dinosaurs are wondrous and astounding enough as they are, just for being real. Let me tell you a little story. In 2013, I was presenting research at the Society of Vertebrate Paleontology meeting. All of us had heard rumors of a big reveal concerning a theropod dinosaur called Dinochirus. Now, Dinochirus was first discovered in Mongolia back in the 1960s, but we only really had its arms. And these arms were enormous, like eight feet long, the biggest arms ever on a theropod dinosaur. For decades afterward, it was a mystery what the rest of this dinosaur looked like. Nobody knew for sure. But we learned from the SVP abstract volume that an international team had discovered a decent skeleton of this animal. We knew at this meeting we might get to find out what this famously mysterious dinosaur really was. It was quite the scene. Maybe one third of all the vertebrate paleontologists in the world crammed ourselves into this ballroom. It was standing room only. And we waited for the talk to start. One of the presenting researchers was from Japan, and uh, he had a pretty thick accent. Frankly, he was a little bit difficult to understand. But as the presentation went on, we all leaned forward as he showed us photo after photo of the new material, revealing to us piece by piece what the rest of the skeleton of Dino Kairos looked like. And then the next slide. Forty years of mystery just concluded there before our very eyes. A gorgeous 3D model of the full animal, all fleshed out, just slowly rotating there on the screen. And it wasn't like any other dinosaur we'd ever seen before. A whole ballroom full of scientists who had been silently watching with bated breath suddenly, spontaneously stood up and began to applaud. I had never seen anything like this at a scientific conference before. It was magical. I'll never forget that for as long as I live. It's a shining example of what dinosaur paleontology can be. Beautiful marriage of science and art and discovery. You know what reminds me of that moment? Prehistoric Kingdom does. The game features Dino Kyrus. Not as a monster, but as a real animal, in all its weird and wonderful splendor, accurate in every detail they could muster based on real fossils and real scholarship. Dinosaur park builder games are created to be fun, but they can also be so much more. When a game strives to show real dinosaurs, when it isn't hampered by fealty to some corporation's intellectual property, when its allegiance is to science, to the real beauty and majesty of nature, that makes this paleontologist's heart sing. Along with projects like Saurian, and the Dinosauria, and Prehistoric Planet, I can only hope that this new Prehistoric Kingdom game hints at a larger shift in the culture. The people who created these projects are not just trying to collect rent on some corporate IP. These are passion projects. They're trying to give you dinosaurs. Real dinosaurs, as we currently understand them through science. They have faith that dinosaurs, authentic dinosaurs, are enough. That reality is wondrous enough as it is. And that nature deserves our reverence. As somebody who does science on dinosaurs, who talks to the public every day about paleontology, that gives me reason to hope. It's a hint that, just maybe, 
We can help inspire a general public who, who will care about what's true and what's not. Who will fight for a brighter future. Who will push back against the kind of corporatocracy that is endangering our planet. I believe things can get better. So here's hoping that Prehistoric Kingdom represents not just a better depiction of the creatures of the past, but maybe a promise of a better future. Huge thank you to all of my Twitch subscribers for making this video and my live streams possible. If you'd like to explore the latest paleontology news and fossil publications, learn how dinosaur science actually works, ask me questions, and just hang out with an awesome community, then I invite you to join me live on weekdays at twitch.tv slash paleontologize. Feel free to drop by, and I uh, hope to see you there. <laughs>